So let's take a further look inside as to what you're going to receive when you order this plate. So as we open up the box here, you'll get several items. The first one being this little ball and it's got quite a nice little texture to it so that way you get some good grip. Then you'll receive the actual Domi plate itself and two little threaded screws which is actually going to go into the base of this domino. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this little ball here and make sure that this little nut here is secure. And now depending on what size of material is depending on what size you need to see. So you can see here this is for three quarter this side visible and if you flip it over for half inch this side visible. I have three quarter inch material here so I'm actually going to want to see this side. So for this application I'm actually going to screw this in. So the other thing as well is when we flip it over, you're going to have these little screws in here and they're nice little fine threaded screw and you're just going to put them all the way through and then once those are through, we're going to move over to the domino and it's quite a quick process. Now for the first demonstration, I'm going to show you how to join three quarter material edge to edge to make an absolutely perfect seam. Now the first thing we need to do, just like any other time that you use the domino, you're going to have to make two pencil lines. And a little tip is sometimes on darker species of woods, I like to use a fine point sharpie just so that way it's a little bit more visible. So let's go ahead, we'll make one mark here. And let's just come over here and make another one. And for this three quarter inch material, I'm actually going to be using a number six domino, 40 millimeters in length. So this would be a six by 40. And we come over here to the domino and remember we're going to do 20 and 20. So I'm going to make an adjustment to my depth here and let's get going. So just before we make the plunge here, another nice little tip, even if you aren't using the Domi plate, I do like to hold the domino at the back here. I find that it gives me a little bit more stability. So now that we've made our plunge, let's put our number six dominoes in there. And this is on the tight setting. And you'll also notice how the first plunge I was holding the base a little differently to the second time. There is no right or wrong way. It's kind of whatever feels comfortable for you. But I'd like to show you the ways that you can use it. And we're just gonna put this together here. And now you can see it is absolutely perfect. There is very smooth and a flawless seam. So I'm really happy with how this works on edge to edge. Now, just remember that we're no longer going edge to edge. So there's no need to divide this 40 millimeter domino in half at 20 and 20. So now that we have a 19 millimeter panel, I'm going to plunge into this panel 12 millimeters. The other one we're gonna make up for the extra with 28 millimeters worth of depth. So that was our 28 millimeter depth mortise on this one. And now we'll move over to the other panel and do the 12. Part of what makes this Domi plate such a useful and beautiful little tool is that there's still no need for adjustment except for the depth. So when we come up to this panel, I'm just gonna make sure that my line is on my edge here. And I'm simply going to line that up and make sure the base mark is in line with the mark I already have and then we're gonna plunge. So I hope that this video was informative to you, whether you have a Domi plate already and are looking to set it up, or you didn't even know about it or battle things such as fence drift. So the Domi plate is available in a half inch and three quarter thickness material such as this one, but they also offer it in a 5 eighths and 7 eighths. Both are priced at $65, which is well worth the money to me, especially considering how fast and precise it is. I'll throw a link down below in the description if you're interested in this product. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to message me or comment below and I'll be happy to read them.